Novak Djokovic has just made history after winning the 2020 Cincinnati Open, becoming the first player to win all nine Masters twice, tying Nadal with the most overall at 35. Ironically enough, Djokovic made headlines last night after he, Vajak Pospisil, and John Isner resigned from the ATP Council, breaking away from the tour as a whole to form the Professional Tennis Players Association. The New York Times broke this story and their source is three anonymous figures familiar with their decisions. These sources are very likely to hold valid info as Vajrak announced his resignation on Twitter. After two years on the ATP Tour Player Council, I am resigning from my position as the player representative for the 51 through 100 ranking positions. It has become clear that as a player council member within the current structure of the ATP, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to have any significant impact on any major decisions made by our tour. I am proud to say I have always fought for what I believe to be right and in doing so, never compromised my integrity. My sole mission on the council was to represent peers well and I am extremely proud to have done that to the best of my abilities. I leave holding my head high. Speaking straight from the Times article, many details about the new group remain vague beyond its name, the Professional Tennis Players Association, and its intention to represent men's singles players in the top 500 and doubles players in the top 200. Djokovic and Pospisil detailed their plans in a document they distributed to other players, which was obtained by the New York Times. In it, they argue that an autonomous body for player interest is necessary. The ATP, founded 30 years ago, represents players in tournaments jointly with both sides having seats on the governing boards for decisions. The goal of the PTPA is not to replace the ATP, but to provide players with a self-governance structure that is independent from the ATP and is directly responsive to players' members' needs and concerns. One glaring absence from the plan is the inclusion of women's players in the formation of the group. Pospisil has spoken eagerly last year about working together with female players. The idea appeared to gain steam as Pospisil led a large group, including Sloane Stevens and others, to urge the Grand Slam tournament to commit more money to athletes. The tournaments did not engage. Yet as leaders of the men's and women's tours expressed in the spring that it might be mutually beneficial to merge the tours, especially in light of the financial troubles brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. Many men's players reacted negatively to that prospect, and some said that women's players did not deserve to make as much money as the men. In a message to players this week, Pospisil said players in the new association would meet Saturday night and take a group photo to document the historic moment. He said the group would have, quote, essentially the same function as a union, but with more legal flexibility. There will be a lot more work building and perfecting the operations of this association, but this is the first and most pivotal step that we must take. He added, our voices will finally be heard and we will soon have an impact on decisions that affect our lives and livelihoods. Gaudensi, in a letter to players that was obtained by the Times, urged the athletes not to take lightly the ramifications of starting a new association while acknowledging that no organizational structure is perfect. Gaudenzi framed the formation of a competing player organization as an existential threat to the ATP and said the group should not expect to be recognized by the tournament. He argued that the action could threaten the power players already have within the sport. Some really big names in the sport, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer, also spoke out in support of Gaudenzi. Rafa tweeting, The world is living a difficult and complicated situation. I personally believe that these are the times to be calm and work all of us together in the same direction. It is time for unity, not for separation. These are moments where big things can be achieved as long as the world of tennis is united. We all, players, tournaments, and governing bodies have to work together. We have a bigger problem and separation, and disunion is definitely not the solution. Roger backed up his fellow legend replying, I agree Rafa, these are uncertain and challenging times, but I believe it's crucial for us to stand united as players and as a sport to pave the best way forward. Andy Murray also gave his thoughts on the new association, 
saying that he is not completely against it, but wants to give the current management some time and isn't happy that the women are not included. He will not be signing it today. Much like Murray, Medvedev is considering it as well saying, I decided for myself to think more about it after the US Open. I'll definitely ask more information to Zvajek and Novak to decide for myself. I need some time. That's all I can say right now because I cannot say more. I don't know which way I'm leaning, but I need more info. I'm of course surprised by all of this, but mostly shocked that Djokovic, Vajak, and John felt that the issue was so bad they had to break away. I was also surprised that quite a few players felt the same way. Cincinnati finalist Milos Raonic actually expressed his support for the new tour. Players have had plenty of time to think and reflect and take a look at certain parts which they may not be happy with and discuss. He added, I voice my opinion on many things such as other sports, executives and other sports taking pay cuts to support us. As tennis players, we weren't making a dime for months and months. Once again, fully speaking from the article, Gaudenzi closed his plea to players by asking for unity. We should not forget that as an entertainment product, our competition for audiences and long-term growth is with other sports and forms of entertainment, he wrote. Our battle is not with each other. Now, more than ever, is the time for unity and collaboration. I agree with Gaudenzi and that during everything that's going on in the world, unity is key. However, this unity can't be forced and something must be done in order to make this unity come natural, not artificially. You can't just brush over all the issues and say kumbaya, you have to make all the players feel at ease. That's all for this video and let me know what you think about everything I discussed. Do you support Djokovic's ambition for a new association where the players have more control? Or do you side with Roger and Rafa and feel that unity is more important during these times? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.